Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your boy Shadow Stomper here from Next Level Studios, your number one stop for graphics, gameplay, and 3D animation. Today, I'm going to be coming at you with a quick tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to uh, basically use flares and uh, what you basically see in a lot of uh, a lot of big Photoshop, you know, guys on on uh, YouTube. And I'm going to show you guys how to how to achieve that effect. So let's go ahead and uh, get on in here. So basically, um, I'm going to skip a couple of steps because uh, usually people use flares on top of 3D text. It usually looks pretty nice. I'm going to skip that uh, part and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to just start adding flares and uh, show you uh, what what to do and, and you know what layer mode, to, what cut, what it should be. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is you know we want to figure out where we want our flares to go, what kind of an angle we want it to have and uh, you know do we want it to be a big flare, do we want it to be a little flare you know uh, and, and stuff like that so let's go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll include it I'll include uh, this this uh, background and uh, the, basically the PSD in the description so you guys can go ahead and, and do this with me and uh, we can make it a learning experience so go ahead and um, go ahead and, and, and do that now because I'm gonna actually open up mine and get my textures so the uh, first one we use is this one right here and this will be included in the in the pack and uh it's a it's a blue flare and uh what we want to do is we want to change the uh the color of this flare because our um, our our original document and our, our the color of our of our canvas and the color of our text is a uh, red so let's go ahead and try to make this a red uh red color so the way we do that is we're going to go to image adjustments and then go down to color balance right here so uh, now we're just going to mess with the levels. So, bump up the red. There you go. We're already looking at a, almost a red color. And uh, that's more of a pink, so we're going to leave that at the middle. But uh still have some red to it. We bump that. That's all the way orange. All the way to the left is purple. So, stay in the middle. We've got ourselves almost red. And uh, go ahead and do it again. We're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. And this time, we're going to mess with the highlights. So we're going to add red highlights. So there we go, nice bright red. And uh, that's what you need to do for uh, for this one. Go ahead and drag it in into your uh, into your your document, the text this doc text document. And uh, we see this really big. So what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and change the layer mode to screen. And uh, that should give you the effect that it's on top of uh, of our document. And uh, it actually looks pretty good. But uh, what, see, when you put it in here, you're going to see that there's a separating line. And uh, we really want to get rid of that separating line. So that what you would do is you would go in here with a soft, uh, like, 200 pixel brush and, and basically just brush away the part where it looks like it's, you know, kind of like still a part of a, a one a big picture on top of a picture. So it blends in nice. And so there you go. we got a nice red flare. Let's going to go ahead and work with some smaller ones now. So uh, we don't want to save the changes to that. So go ahead and file open, and I should have a smaller one. Yep, right here, and uh, I'll include this one in the pack as well. And uh, so we have a small, a nice, small um, <laughs> white flare, and that's actually that's that's good. I don't want to use any other one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag it in here. But uh, if you wanted to change the color of the flare, what you would do is just go through the same process that we did for the red one. So change it to screen, and uh, just now we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it. So zoom out and hold shift while I do this. So we just have a smaller canvas to work with, a smaller space, and uh, put it where you want it. And um, let's see, I'm actually going to rotate mine a little bit, and come over here, and. And that actually looks really nice. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate that layer and uh, move it over here. And I didn't mean to erase it, <laughs> but uh, let's get the move tool and uh, move it to the other side and uh, just plop it over here maybe. And that is how you use flares. Real simple, real easy. You know, really quick tutorial. Sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a minute, guys, but uh, you know I love you. Got my best, uh, my best interest at heart. So, um, yeah, you guys need to learn anything, just hit our inbox. And um, thanks for watching. I've been, uh, I have, 
you know, I'm in finals, uh, finals week for school right now, so I'm really trying to cram and, you know, make sure that, you know, you get, education comes first. So, uh, but yeah, love you guys. This has been Shadow Stomper with Next Level Studios, your number one stop for graphics, gameplay, and 3D animation, and I'm out of here. To stay updated with Next Level Studios, be sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. There you'll find the latest and greatest news from Next Level Studios.